back to the channel. Today we start the day off going to the Dodge dealership. On the quarter panels for the Charger, they don't actually install the rib nuts that the bumper bolts to. So what I had to do was order two of the rib nuts. They're relatively cheap knowing Dodge fasteners. They're usually very expensive. So they're only a couple bucks. I'm going to pick them up now. And I also need to look at the Charger that's there once again for uh, trunk, trunk gaps. I didn't take that into consideration. And uh, when I went to put the trunk on, I had this weird funky gap. So I wanna make sure everything's good to go and uh, just kind of go from there. So two rib nuts that I was needing for both quarter panels. And I actually didn't notice, I looked at the car there and I didn't realize the trunk gaps were so wide. So I was having this big issue. I was like, man, these things are huge gaps. But uh, at the base by the tail lights, it looks like it's almost 10 mils. So, um, I'm good to go, gonna head over to the shop and we're gonna work on the charger a little bit more, try to get some of this banged out. I don't actually know if I want to weld the quarter panels up because I wanna wait till I get the fenders. The Back over at the shop, what I'm gonna do is actually finish the roof rails for now and uh, get all of this door frame situated, kind of go from there. I need to also level the hatch. So the hatch on this side and the other side, all of them, my other two magnums also, the hatch sits a little bit lower than the actual sheet metal right here. So I wanna level that out before we weld it to the, the charger trunk down here. And I finally got the, I actually spent an extra two days making sure all the body lines were completely where they needed to be. Quarter panels are still not welded on, but they're all sheet metal screwed on and all the body lines are nice. Um, one issue I was having, I didn't notice that the charger in between the tail light and the trunk lid light, it uh, that gap looks super huge, but that's how they normally are, which is very weird. So I uh, made every made sure everything was gonna line up there, um, especially with how the lights sit. I want them to, when you look down the back of the car, I want the lights to line up as well. So let's get to work on these roof rails because I wanna get this stuff, all this sheet metal work up here done so I can start making the roof skin because if you're not following me on Instagram, I am going to make a composite, a carbon fiber roof skin. Um, but to do that, I have to pretty much cut the charger roof skin over there in half and then weld it to the Magnum one, do a bunch of body work, make it ready to make a mold. Um, it's not gonna be in this video, it'll probably be in its own separate video, just making the mold, then making the roof skin, and then probably putting it on. So let's get to work on this, get all this figured out. Um, pretty much I'm gonna use the charger front piece and then I'm gonna start grafting in pieces of the 300C door frame and all.
heading home really quick, they just dropped off the charger fenders, the wide body fenders, and that piece of inner structure, which I'm not actually gonna use, but I'm gonna go pick those up. So good thing I kept checking the tracking number because the fenders for the charger are here. These are the wide body fenders. This is the piece of inner structure, and look at that. It doesn't look like any of them are damaged. I haven't opened the box, but let's get them in the pickup truck, take them over to the body shop, and let's get these things on the car so we can make sure everything's 100% lined up before I weld the quarter panels on. Just got back to the shop with the fenders and the piece of inner structure. And I would like to once again say that I am working with Mopar Online Parts. If you need any Mopar parts, link is in the description. Their prices are very, very reasonable. And that being said, they can ship you fenders, hoods, whatever you need for your project and your local dealership will not be able to beat it. So. Links in the description, check them out. I use them for all my Mopar needs and that's where I have gotten all the parts for the charger, all the wide body parts. And if you need a contact, my contact, his name is Benny, go through their online website. It is just phenomenal. So let's get these fenders out of the box, get them mounted on the car and just kind of make sure everything is lined up. I wanted the fenders before I welded the core panels on just to make sure I don't have to move the doors forward or do anything crazy. I don't want any weird gaps in the front and I don't want to have any issues later on down the road.
Good progress on the charger. Josh just pulled the dent out that was made by the mirror from the accident and all of that is good to go. So it just needs a skim, some blocking when I paint it. Another thing when I'm really glad that I waited to weld the core panels on until I got the fenders because the gaps and certain things were very, very far off that I really didn't notice. So I was lining this line right here or this, uh, this weather stripping piece for the window actually up with the top of this so everything was really tight and it goes with the fender so now this body line on the fender the rubber seal behind the fender is actually squished correctly and then up here it's squished correctly and then i was really glad that i got all that stuff from that 300 c from the u-pull yard because as you can see it's not welded but you can see how the seal goes in it it's just perfect so um, all the gaps on this side are really nice and you can see the core panel gap is uh, really nice It's still not welded on but I'm gonna do that or I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow I still need to line up the passenger side all the way and then Josh is gonna help me actually make all of this stuff up here Because I need to have this continue and then it needs to pretty much blend into the magnum structure 300 C door frame and uh, all that other stuff. So I can keep the roof skin uh, the same width as the charger. And as I've said before, I'm gonna make a composite roof skin. So I'm just glad to have the fenders. As a lot of people have been commenting, the uh, they want a wide body one of these and it is wide body. And there are a few people that don't have that, uh, don't know that these actually stick this far out, but it's like an inch, inch and a half, two inches, something like that. But it does stick out quite a ways, but look at that body line. Look how nice and straight that is. All the doors are lined up. I just can't wait to see this thing in paint. And uh, it has quite a ways to go. Once all this stuff's up here is fabricated, it will be pretty much high belt primer, um, body filler, and just kind of working it out. Um, he's, Josh is also gonna help me finish up the trunk make the uh, hatch and the rear trunk from the charger one piece all that is lined up really nice um, i still need to make some shims to bring this up to match the uh the magnum um, she metal skin and just to make all the body lines for the hatch and the trunk really really nice as well So I'm gonna end the video here. Um, this pro this project has, uh, you know, it's taking a long time. It is a lot of work, but I, I think this week I probably spent 40 hours just lining panels up. And then I probably spent like another 10 hours after I got the fenders lining panels up. So that being said, if you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, thumbs up, throw a comment below, share this with your friends. As always, see you guys next time.